right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, fashionistas, fashion vistas, and all that other nonsense that people call each other. Here we go. All right, wear and tear update video for my, or anyone's, I guess, but mine specifically, Louboutins with the Spit Ikes, gold yin yang ones. All right, as you can see, there's not much of a difference of brand new and actual used variant to, to, to show people that I've actually worn them. Yeah, dirty. I don't clean, I have actually, I've worn these shoes, let's see, I'm gonna say at least 15 times, at least 15 times in the last uh, couple months. And I mean, they're, they're barely like, they barely look used. Looks like I've never worn them, aside from the dirt and dirtiness. I haven't, I haven't cleaned them once either, so. Because they're black, that's why I got them, because, you know, easy, easy to maintain. I don't want to clean my shoes every other day. And now, yeah, I'm not going to be cleaning the bottoms like a lot of other people do. I mean, they're just the bottoms, whatever. I mean, yeah, I guess it would be nice to clean them, because the, the red would be a little brighter, but whatever. Who looks at the bottoms anyway? As you can see, yeah, not much of a of a wear and tear. I mean, they they hold their shape, they hold everything very, very well. Comfort ability, the comfort of these shoes is pretty, pretty good. Um, I thought they would be a little bit more comfortable, but I would, I would give them probably a good solid eight for comfort. Actually, after like maybe five hours, six hours though, they do tend to, they, they feel heavy. I think that's the problem. After five hours, these things are like, oh my God, they're like boots be clonking around everywhere but aside from that yeah they they still are pretty comfortable this is very rigid oh my god the the strength up here I, I figured they would be the the collar up here yeah they, they hold they hold up really nice so I mean it's still a little stiff which I don't know if you enjoy that or not I do because it keeps the, sh the shape of the shoe rather nice normally when they come they come with the regular crisscross laces I change them to the European style because why? Because why the hell not? Why would I want these crisscross shoes when they're Italian or whatever, French? No, they're Paris, so yeah, they're French, whatever. The point is, is that Italian, European style laces all the way. So you may want to get up on that if you get these shoes because they come the normal crisscross way. Ugh, don't do that unless you're wearing like Nikes or something like that. These shoes deserve this type of styling. So, learn how to do it. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to show people how to do it, just in case. It's not that hard. Well, actually, it's harder than it looks, believe it or not, but it's, it's not that hard. Durability of these shoes, as you can see, look, they hold up, like, they barely crease at all. The front right here, these are really tough right here, so the, the, the toe box, very tough. So it doesn't, you won't have like crazy creases up in this part where the spikes are. So that's a good thing. So it creases right here. Not sure if that helps the comfort of the shoe, but it, it feels fine to me. I haven't really had any issue. Like I said, you can wear these for a long time. The only bad thing about them is that they're heavy. They're just super heavy, especially with the spikes and everything. So no spikes have come out either, which is a good thing. Because I ain't about losing no spit ikes, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to go up to no cobbler and be like, hey, can you replace the spike right here? You know? So that's a good thing. And other than that, like the inside of the shoe, what I didn't really notice before when I first got these shoes is that when you put the shoe on, dude, it's like sucks your foot right in. It's like, it's like airtight. I don't know how they do that. It's the weirdest thing I've ever felt. But when you put these shoes on, it's like, it's like a suction cup. Like when you go in, you, you ever uh, opened a Louis Vuitton box? You know, when you slide it out, it's like slow because of the air, like grabbing it, like, and then when you push it in, it's like, it has like a little bit of force to it. Yeah, that's how your foot feels when you go in and out of this shoe. It's really, it's really, really strange. I didn't think a shoe could do that, but apparently this one does. Bottom of the shoe, let's see. It doesn't really wear that much, as you can see. Aside from the dirt and everything, it's still shiny in the in the in the writing part. So there you go. I think that's the only part that is shiny anyway. The, this red over here, I think, is just regular red. Let's see. Any flaws for this shoe? I've never got a, a compliments as many compliments wearing any shoe as I have with these. So if you are the type of person that likes compliments on shoes, yeah, this this is a, I guess a shoe to get because oddly enough, it's a lot of old ladies though. A lot of like 
older women who are like, ooh, those are nice shoes. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. And a, lot, a couple dudes here and there will say, her. Are those, those are, those are sick ass shoes. I'm like, yeah, thanks. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 for, for durability and lastability, dude, these things will last me, I think, the rest of my life without any, like, problems. So that's, that's A-OK -okay in my book. A to the O-K. -okay. One last, let's see, get a close up of it. So, yeah, so yes, I do wear them. I didn't just buy them and, and then return them. <laughs> I'm assuming people thought that because I never really do on foot reviews. But no, I, I own them, I wear them. So, we're good to go. And like I said, definitely, I feel like the laces. Doing the, the European style, Italian style, whatever you want to call it, is, is way better. The, the overall look for these type of shoes anyway. That's, that's just my opinion. Anyway, if you like this review, check out my other one, the original, somewhere. I'll probably put a little thing somewhere about that. And like the video, that would be a nice thing. View the video, share the video. My name is Emilio. Enjoy the rest of your day.